the new Tesla Roadster is going to be one incredible electric vehicle that will, as Elon Musk mentioned at the reveal event, give a hardcore smackdown to gasoline cars. In this video, I'm going to discuss five next level features of the new Tesla Roadster that will put this vehicle in a class of its own. I'm Jonathan, and welcome to CleanerWatt. The first next level feature that I'd like to discuss revolves around the SpaceX package. In June of 2018, Elon Musk tweeted out some information about the SpaceX package saying, quote, SpaceX option package for the new Tesla Roadster will include 10 small rocket thrusters arranged seamlessly around the car. These rocket engines dramatically improve acceleration, top speed, braking, and cornering. Maybe they will even allow a Tesla to fly. Over the last several years, we've heard more and more information about the SpaceX package. And in this May 2020 Electric article, talking about Elon Musk's appearance on Jay Leno's Garage, Elon Musk described the integration as, quote, we are going to use ultra high pressure compressed air. It's a cold gas thruster. The main thruster will be like behind the license plate. So for acceleration, it drops the license plate and behind the license plate is a rocket thruster. A little bit later on in the video, we'll talk about how the SpaceX package could help the acceleration and track performance of this new Roadster. But before we do that, I want to talk about one other exciting feature that could come as a result of this SpaceX package. In January of 2019, Elon Musk put out this tweet quoting something that Richie Hill put out saying the new Roadster will actually do something like this. Also on January 27th of this year, Elon Musk said the new Roadster is part rocket. When asked by the Tesla owners of Silicon Valley, can it fly? Elon Musk said a little. Elon Musk also gave further details on the recent Joe Rogan interview and this Inside EVs article quotes him in this interview. Elon Musk said, we're going to throw some rocket technology at that car. I want it to hover. I'm trying to figure out how to make this thing hover without, you know, killing people. I thought maybe we could make it hover, but not too high. So maybe it could hover like a meter above the ground or something. So if you plummet, you blow out the suspension, but you're not going to die. Maybe I don't know, six feet. If we put a height limit on it, it will probably be fine. So it's kind of wild to think about what Elon Musk is talking about. He's actually talking about the potential of the Tesla Roadster to hover six feet off the ground. I'm right around six foot one, and so I can imagine a car just at the level of my head floating. That would be pretty wild, and that would be pretty next level. However, there's also a chance that the Tesla Roadster will not be able to hover, whether for legal reasons or technical safety reasons, but it still will help with other factors of the car like acceleration, performance, and also on the track. As Elon Musk mentioned in this tweet we talked about earlier, the rocket engines dramatically improve acceleration, top speed, braking, and cornering. The second next level feature that I'd like to discuss on the new Tesla Roadster is the single blade windshield wiper. Now at this point, you might be saying to yourself, come on, John, next level windshield wiper. How exciting can a windshield wiper be? But if you stick with me for just a minute, I'll show you that this is actually more important than it may sound. Just a few days ago, Tesla Roddy put out this article saying that the Tesla Roadster's revolutionary wiper design secured U.S. patent approval. Here are some quotes from that article. Instead of the traditional two wiper blade design, Tesla's patent details a one piece wiper system that uses an electromagnetic linear actuator to rid the windshield of any rain or moisture completely. It will start from one side and move directly to the other side, cleaning the entire windshield with one motion. When the wiper blade is not being used, it will be hidden under the car's hood. This adds to the Roadster's clean and modern design, free of anything that could take away from its aerodynamically advantageous design, including side mirrors. Here's one of the illustrations from the Tesla patent showing the single windshield wiper. Here's another picture showing the motion of this windshield wiper across the windshield. And here's another picture showing how it can be stored away when not in use. Now, when you think about the windshield wiper design, it really hasn't changed a lot over the years. There have been maybe very small improvements, 
but the basic design, the two windshield wiper design sweeping across that front windshield has not changed over the years. But Elon Musk wanted to change that with the Roadster, and I imagine other vehicles as well will get this in the future. According to this patent, this new windshield wiper design will give the driver better visibility as it wipes across the windshield. In this patent, Tesla says, quote, conventional systems are not capable of effectively cleaning a windshield that curves around a driver. That is, the windshield provides a view directly in front of the driver, but also to the left and to the right. So while a traditional windshield wiper is not able to get the edges of the windshield, the new Tesla wiper system will be able to do that, offering better view for a human driver. This patent also describes the fact that this new windshield wiper design will aid Tesla's autopilot system as well. Quote, in certain scenarios, a driver or in-vehicle cameras, example, in case of assisted or autonomous driving, require an unobstructed field of view of the path ahead from inside of a vehicle. Conventional windshield wiper systems that use multiple wiper blades usually have a cluttered design and do not sufficiently clear the windshield, which may hamper the unobstructed field of view of the path ahead. Another benefit of this new windshield wiper design, which kind of seems crazy when you first think about it, but Tesla describes this, is this new windshield wiper design might actually help increase the range of Tesla's Roadster and future electric vehicles that get this same windshield wiper. Quote, in some conventional wiper systems, electrical motors are used to move one or more wiper blades to clean the windshield of a vehicle. The electrical motors include many mechanical components, such as gears and bearings, to slide the wiper blades. However, such sliding motion of the mechanical components creates significant friction, resulting in the need for additional power to be supplied by the in-vehicle battery, which decreases vehicle range. Also, this new windshield wiper design should allow the Tesla Roadster to have better aerodynamics. Quote, conventional wiper systems have varying influence from aerodynamic effects as they traverse from the bottom of the windshield to the top and vice versa due to the airflow vector changes. So as you can see, this new windshield wiper design is not going to be quite as exciting as say something like the SpaceX package, but it is going to make the Tesla Roadster better and will give the driver and the autopilot system a better view, as well as increasing the range, as Tesla mentioned, and the aerodynamics of the vehicle. This really leads me into another next level feature that I wanna talk about, and that's the aerodynamics of the Tesla Roadster. With a newly redesigned, refreshed Model S, that vehicle now has the lowest drag coefficient of any production car on Earth. They were able to get the drag coefficient down to just 0.208. And if Tesla was able to get the drag coefficient of the Model S that low, I imagine that the new Roadster will fare even better. The new Tesla Roadster is going to be lower to the ground. It's not going to have side view mirrors and as I mentioned a few minutes ago, the new windshield wiper design that will stow under the hood should actually aid with the aerodynamics of the vehicle as well. On this chart, you can see how Tesla's models line up when it comes to coefficient of drag numbers. And I expect the new Roadster will beat the new Model S when we actually get those numbers. Another feature that I'd like to talk about is the next level performance of the Tesla Roadster. The base level Tesla Roadster should be able to go zero to 60 miles per hour in just 1.9 seconds and also go zero to 100 miles per hour in just 4.2 seconds. This vehicle should also be able to complete the quarter mile in around 8.8 .8 seconds and should have a top speed over 250 miles per hour. And also remember that these numbers are for the base model. When you add the SpaceX package, as we mentioned earlier, that should also improve acceleration and performance. When it comes to the zero to 60 mile per hour time, zero to 100 mile per hour time and quarter mile time of many supercars, the limiting factor is often traction and not the power of the engine or the motor itself. With the SpaceX package being able to direct these thrusters around the vehicle at certain angles, this should actually improve the traction of the vehicle and allow it to even break this 1.9 second zero to 60 and give it the best traction of any vehicle on Earth. When you look at the quickest accelerating production vehicles, the new Tesla Roadster will be at the very top when it comes to zero to 60 mile per hour times and also quarter mile times. These numbers beat out even the impressive Model S Plaid and Plaid Plus. 
These numbers are also really impressive when you compare them to some of these other really expensive two-door supercars and shows just how impressive the new Tesla Roadster is going to be. This new Tesla Roadster should also do very well when it comes to track performance and Elon Musk appears confident that it will do very well at a track like the Nürburgring. The Plaid Plus Model S with a three motor system, a similar system that will be found in the Roadster, was able to complete the Nürburgring track in just seven minutes and 13 seconds. Here's how that compares to some other supercars, including the fastest vehicle, the Lamborghini Aventador SVJ. In September of 2019, Viv, in response to the Model S's time at the Nürburgring, said, quote, I guess the new Roadster will easily beat the all-time record of 644.97. Elon Musk responded, absolutely. Also, according to this tweet in September of 2020, Elon Musk responded yes when baby Tesla asked if the new Roadster would arrive at the Nürburgring in 2021. The fifth and final feature that I'd like to talk about is the next level range of the Tesla Roadster. The new Tesla Roadster will have a 200 kilowatt hour battery and will be capable of around 620 miles on a single charge. The new Tesla Roadster should be the longest range production electric vehicle on the market when it comes out with its 620 miles of range. This chart shows some future 500 plus mile EVs that are just on the horizon. This huge battery and this range will also be very handy because it'll allow you to drive the Roadster very aggressively and use it on the track without running out of battery really quickly. So those are the five next level features that I wanted to talk about. But in closing, I want to talk about when we should expect to actually see the Roadster come into production. In November of 2017, the new Tesla Roadster was the one more thing at the end of the semi presentation. In that presentation, Elon Musk mentioned that production was supposed to start in 2020. However, 2020 has come and gone, and still we don't have production of the Tesla Roadster. However, I believe that 2022 will be the year. Elon Musk recently responded to the esteemed Earl of Frunk Puppy when he asked, what happened to the Roadster? Elon Musk said, finishing engineering this year, production starts next year aiming to have release candidate design drivable late summer. Tri-motor system and advanced battery work were important precursors. So since we're actually seeing the new Plaid motor system in a production vehicle, the Model S before the Roadster, I think that helps prove that this technology is ready. And I believe the Tesla Roadster will have Tesla's new 4680 batteries, which they're currently manufacturing in their Fremont pilot line. So this all lines up for the Roadster to come out in 2022, and it's going to be really exciting when it does. Thank you so much for watching this video all the way through to the end. If you're not already subscribed to this channel, please consider subscribing. And if you do subscribe, if you click the bell icon, you'll be notified when new videos are published. Also, if you did like the video, please consider clicking the like button because that helps other people find the video as well. Also, I wanted to take a moment to thank the Patreon supporters who support me every month and help make this content possible. If you'd like to find out more about the Patreon community that I've set up, I'll put a link in the description below. Thank you so much.